Hi, this is Ron McTube, we're playing Hunter Call of Wild on PC today, we're on Quattro Kalinas, and we're doing some missions. Now, the mission we're doing is called Bait and Switch. We've got to disarm the old traps and kill and harvest the white wolf. I think there'll be three traps, and then uh, we've got to kill the white wolf. There we go. Here's the mission. Donna Alexandra. That's who we've got to do it for. All right, here is the location on my right. We've got something there. What's that? How has your hunting been going on Quattro Kalina? So you had any nice trophies? Drop that in the comments. Uh, tell me what you've been having. You had any rares, any diamonds, species? I want to know about it. So let me know. Drop it in the comments. I've had a great hunt uh, last few days. Uh, been putting a lot of time. But it's been paying off. I've had some really good trophies, haven't we? Uh, I've had some albino wild boars. I've never shot an albino wild boar, and I've been playing it since it was even out, like live, uh, over two years now. And now I've never shot an albino wild boar, and I had two in like one day. So uh, the look of that is unreal. But it just goes to show you—you you never know what's coming next. You can always get something special. So if you're one of those people who go and you see it always uh, typing, I've never had a diamond. You never know that next animal you see might be a diamond. So never give up. Um, they, there's always something around the corner. What are these plants in this field? They look like sugar beet or something. Uh, if, if you're from Spain and you know what they are, drop in the comments. I'd like to know. I keep looking at them and uh, they're a nightmare to drive across on an ATV because you, you go bumping everywhere. But then again, you shouldn't be really driving on them, should you? They've got a road at the side of me. If you want to see anything the Hunter Colour Wild Relator, drop that in the comments. I am trying to cover everything. I'm doing a bit of missions, a bit of hunting this, hunting that. Uh, trying to uh, keep a bit of variety of what there is in Colour Wild going as I'm filming. I don't want to rush out to the end of the missions because obviously some of you are only just getting it and playing it. So this isn't too far into the storyline. So a lot of people will be this far ahead anyway. It'll be interesting to see what happens. We've got to find these traps. Normally on uh, these missions with traps, there's normally three uh, sort of like bear traps. What is the actual te technical? Get it out, Ron. Technical name for these traps. I don't know. I just call them bear traps. <laughs> All right, here's one. These things. You wouldn't like to get your foot in that. So there's one. Now I thought those were olive trees, but um, people were saying they're orange trees. It is nice to learn about all these uh, kind of details. There's lots of things you don't think about, like what what different bird sounds are in the reserve trees and things like that. Once you start going into all this, it gets quite deep, and you you see the kind of detail that gets put into the game. And here's the second one. But yeah, yesterday I had an albino. Um, Iberian Wolf and I was really happy about that because I wanted that from my white room uh, basically my back end of my Sasiki Safari Trophy Lodge I'm trying to get it all white with the trophies that's the team and um, working on themes for each room as we progress they're all brand new trophies as well none of them are brought over from Spring Creek Manor there's a third one I'm thinking about doing some multiplayer games. Who'd be interested in uh, joining those, or if people want to host them, I could join them maybe. I am thinking about doing a little series to do with multiplayer games, like I used to do the Hunting Friends, so that might be coming soon. It would be nice if you've got a microphone, if you want to take part. So look out for uh, news on that when I announce it, or if, like I say, people want to do it and they've got mics and just want to hunt them there, we could sort something out. Like I say, I might start doing a series on that just for a bit of fun. It's not going to be a hardcore hunting and everything. It's just going to be a laugh and uh, lots of fun, hopefully. All right, we've got to kill a white wolf, but I can hear. <laughs> At first, I thought, what's that? And it's uh, here. All right, let's go over here. What's? Let's go over here. Oh dear, Ron. Where I'm from in Nottingham, you don't pronounce the H, so. <laughs> Here, here. So where is our final trap? Let's connect that. Wait, did you hear that? Oh, look at that! Legendary white wolf. I believe it's a legendary. That might even be a diamond. Is it dead? That's crazy if you get a diamond off the mission. 
Let's take a look at it. What's the blood? It's not an albino, but what is that? What is that colour? Let's collect it. It Arturo, is a phantasma. A couple from a nearby village. Legendary. Have asked me to be present and it is a wedding. diamond. As you know, things are extremely quite shocked by that. at the moment. But I'm considering taking the day off to attend. Arturo makes beautiful furniture and has refurbished some antique pieces for my family over the years. He's even let us use his workshop to make custom frames for our hunting trophies. I'd like to repay them, so you and I are going to acquire a fitting centerpiece for their dinner table. For this centerpiece, I need a wild boar, and I am confident that you got an eye for an impressive specimen. If circumstances were different, I'd be doing the hunting myself. I haven't hunted wild boars since I returned to the reserve. Of course, this is where it helps to have you as my trusted confidant. Since you started working here, I have been able to start gathering momentum. There's still so many problems to take care of, but I feel like I can start handling them now. Dealing with Vista España, convincing the neighbors that we have their best interests at heart. Even the simple things like basic maintenance around the reserve. You were hired as a hunter, but you've also had to solve some unorthodox problems. I appreciate the extra effort you've put in. And you've been a true friend to me during a difficult time. It means a great deal. So, a diamond Iberian wolf from the storyline. Drop in the comments if you've done this. Did you get a legendary one, a diamond one? I don't know. <laughs> Whether it's luck or that's how it's supposed to be. But we have definitely got a new addition to the trophy room and how this trophy room looks now is getting amazing. But I'm kind of thinking what should I go for next? Because look at this. There's our albino Iberian wolf. We've got the uh, albino wild boar. People are going crazy now. Albino, albino. You can pronounce it different ways. <laughs> But as you can see, the white room is almost basically full of what I want. So, what do we go for next? We have got, obviously got the plaques, which we could fit uh, fit other animals. But this has been a great hunt. I've really enjoyed it. And we've got a new addition. It's a Phantasma Diamond Iberian Wolf. As you can see there, scored 958. I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. Hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.